Hi guys, in this video we are going to create the product detail page where the product will be shown, the xlarge image will be created automatically by using the coding and uh, here is the showing the food for, it's, if the food is ready, uh, food is for delivery then the two option will be shown here, the pickup and delivery, if not only the pickup will be shown. And here is these two button, the quantity and also the reviews, add reviews and here is the related product below and the bottom of the product detail page. So let's get started and implement the product detail page. So now open your browser and go to this good code with Elias of Logspot. So in here uh, click on this projects, go to the online restaurant website. After that you will get the online restaurant website part 29 product details if you not found here in front of then go to more post and then you will find this post so i am going to click on part 29 so here are all the code of part 29 product detail so here first we are going to create the item review model then next we are going to create the item detail mv where all the product detail will be stored. The next we are going to create the product detail action inside in the home controller and the inside in this product detail action we will uh, get uh, we will create the instance means the object of this item detail model view and then getting all the detail from the database means from the tables and store inside in this item detail object and then in the last pass this item detail object to the view means return to view and here is the next create the product detail view next we are going to create the view for this product detail action and inside the view inside the uh, inside the view uh, first the header and the header is a uh, product detail and here is the home and then below this all the detail of the products means the review if user want to add the review uh, the uh, the section will be here also and uh, then in a last here is the related product of the product will be shown and here is the another uh, updation inside in the upload a method file upload method which is helper class so and this method this code will work to create the large image from the uh, the from the product image automatically by using this code so let's get started and implement this code one by one means step by step so now open your projects go to google studio and open your project and then uh, First, we are going to create the model of the item review. So, now copy the name of this model. And then add. And these are the properties where uh, store the item reviews. So, I'm going to copy these properties. And paste here inside in this item review model so the, here is the review days uh, here is the user and this is the user proto path and that is the writing and this is the detail of the view means the description of review the next is the item detail view model so i'm going to copy this and also create inside in this model folder so now add and then go to and copy all the code of this model so inside in this model first this is the constructor where all the properties will be initialized means to create the object and store inside in the appropriate property so here is the item detail and this is the ingredients of the item and here is the review of the item uh, means the previous reviews and here is the related item of the item so this related item will be shown and the bottom of the product detail page 
So the next we are going to create the action for the product detail inside in the home controller. So now open the home controller and then and below right here and create this action. Here is the parameter of this method which is the item ID. So and this is the product detail. So here I am going to create first this object of this model, uh, this model, uh, this model view, and next up uh, we are getting the item detail. So I am going to copy first this all code of the method, and then we will discuss. So now copy the code till to end and paste inside here. So that's it. So here we are getting the item detail from the database by this item ID and in the status of the item and in which user create this uh, item and here we are going to uh, replace the protopath means we are getting the large image of the uh, of the item will be show inside in the product detail page. So this is the setting of the to getting the large image of the item and this is the item detail which is add to this item detail that item this is the reviews the item reviews getting from the database and then add to here and also here is the setting of the, I, uh, the item writing is the item review here we are going to find the item total writing and then we are getting the final uh, writing of the item and show on the product detail page and here is the getting the ingredients of the item which is will be shown on the product detail page and here is the uh, here, here we are getting the related item from the database means the same category item we will be get and show in the bottom of the product detail page so this is the whole code of the product detail actions so now so uh, the next we are going to create the view i'm going to add the view and now add now go to blog and copy the code of this view this is the model of this view and here is the code so i'm going to copy first the code and then we will discuss so now that's it and now paste so go to top and here is the model of the view and this is the top of the view where is the home and in the product detail uh, and this is the product detail start shop then container row and then 12 column and then row shop detail and here is the image of the item and here is the title and this, here is the writing where we'll show here, show below the item and this is the unit price here is the item the category and then if the item is on delivery then the two options will be show here the delivery and pickup if the item only on pickup then only the pickup option will be shown these are just the button for the order now and add to card we will implement these options in a coming uh, in a later session And these are the review. All the reviews means 20 reviews, 10 reviews, and so on. And this uh, the, these are the tabs section. And a tab uh, and this tab section have two tabs. The one is for showing the previous reviews, and the next for the add new review. Add new review. Okay. So add new review we will implement in a coming video. Uh, and here we are getting in a first step means in a reviews we are getting the previous reviews so here is the model that reviews means the photo of the user and then the username then the days of the view review and in the writing of the review and here is the detail and a of uh, and a, and the add review tab we will implement this in coming video here is the next is the related foods mean related item related products so these are the related products which will show at the bottom of this product detail page the one thing is the 
folder uh, file upload so the file upload inside in the helper class uh, folder and now go to this file upload and we are going to add here the code which is used for to recreate the large image from the small image so now go to here and copy this string x large and paste below this okay the next is uh, uh, now copy the x large here we are create the new file so below this sorry not here below this okay so that is the same file which is going to upload and this is the next file we are going to create next image we are going to create which is large as compared to this and the size we will be mentioned here also so the size of this image is 270 to 300 this is the weight and that is this is the height so i'm going to copy the this code and now i'm going to paste below this x large so that is the image so i'm going to add some namespaces here Uh, now also import the rank 2 d and also include the image format so that's it so here is the image size is 270 to 300 and this size is in a pixel format and this is the rectangle where the image will be created this is the quality means the high quality uh, smooth mode is a high quality composing quality is a high quality and also this and so on so that is the bitmap image which is created and this image will be save and the ping format okay so any ping extension so i'm going to save this all changes and then next i am going to uh, copy here the path to add the menu so i'm going to copy Okay, now hold this. Okay, I now show the changes and then go to our menu. So, here I have our menu, it's here. Okay, uh, so in our menu, we are going to add this to the item once, uh, the, once the user click on the item, this will be open. So, that is the item category list okay so here i am going to create the link and inside and link i'm going to paste this control x and add this so that's it and here is the stock item id which is the item so this is the item dot stock item id so that's it okay so now that is done the next uh, is the category list okay i'm going to also add this to here also so now that's it so now i'm going to run the application and check how it's work. Uh, so the one thing is uh, here we are going to create also the image large. So so that is how. Uh, go to the solution explorer and then go to the content. And a content inside the stock item photo. I'm going to this path. And here I am getting uh, the one image which is this one okay and now copy this image to on to the desktop and next uh, I am going to copy 7 up to desktop and now check the application is run okay now I am going to copy another image which is this one okay okay let's forget uh, i'm going to this uh, just okay then, no 
Uh, okay, that's it. So now the application is done successfully. I am going to click on here one of the item. Uh, I am I have here the item is its name is okay. So okay, forget it. I am clicking on one item. Okay, what mean you? Okay, now you see here. Here this item will show, but the image is not. Because here it's calling the image is x large. So now see here. Uh, I'm going to click again on this image. So you will see here is x underscore 35. So this image will be created automatically. Okay. So let's create the black t image, and this black t is uh, this one black t normal. Okay. So I'm going to copy this black t image. Okay. So here is the black, okay, this one. So now go to the project and uh, I'm going to edit this. So first we need to log in. Means we are going to re-upload the image of this product, black tea. So now log in. So then the image will be shown. So now go to the stock and then the stock item. And then the stock item go to the T and this is the black T. I'm going to edit this and re-upload the image. So now choose and then go to the desktop. On this top, I have this black T open and update. So now that's it. And now I'm going to the all menu. And then again, I'm click on this black T. So now you will see here the image is created automatically. So now see here. And the last you will see here x underscore 35 jpg is created. So this image is last uh, is a lot as compared to this image. So the product detail view is completed. So here uh, this is the reviews and here is the ad review. So we will implement this ad review uh, form in a coming video. So if you like the video, please subscribe the Kuru Media Software channels like and share.